I've dove coral reefs. Uh, I've dove out in, in blue water. I've dove over, you know, expensive sand flats and um, all kinds of different marine habitats. And really there's nothing like a, a proper giant kelp forest. A mature, healthy giant kelp forest is, is very unique. Tasmania has lost over 95% of its canopy forming giant kelp forests over the last few decades. And the Nature Conservancy developed this, this collaborative project uh, in order to reverse that trend. With this Nature Conservancy project, it's all about outplanting giant kelp propagules to more sites than we ever have before. And so this is a way of really trying to understand more broadly about how uh, the reefs have changed through time and by doing this work we can then identify where we're going to have the greatest chance of success for uh, scaling up our planting. We've selected sites up and down the east coast of Tasmania which would be most suitable for giant kelp restoration where we know giant kelp used to exist and has since been lost uh, and we are piloting out planting or seeding, so to speak, of giant kelp at these sites as a way of testing that suitability, and what we assume is the suitability of these sites. So what we're doing is, is comparing the survivorship and growth of these outplanted giant kelps over time, and then choosing the best performing of these sites for much larger scale restoration work in the future. So we really have to push the system hard enough to get it to flip back to a giant kelp forest so that we have enough propagules so they can become self-seeding. And so if they do get knocked down in a heat wave or a storm, there are propagules there ready to stand back up so that we can have a kelp forest back sometime soon and we can have sustained restoration going forward. While giant kelp has declined massively across the east coast of Tasmania, as a species it, it is still present, so you can go out there and find individual kelps. It's just no longer dominating the reef. So we go out there and we find these adult kelps, and we're able to take their sporophylls or the reproductive fronds uh, from those kelps, bring them back into the lab, uh, induce them to spawn, release those spores, and, and therefore we can then start to cultivate them in lab conditions. Kelp releases sort of microscopic life stages that we can only see under the microscope. And we seed those onto a string that then grow larger uh, up to half a centimeter uh, in the lab. And then we take it out into the field. It's like you've got magic beans in your hand, right? like in Jack and the Beanstalk. And you go out there, you seed these tiny little propagules to the reef, and then within 10 months, these kelps are 10 metres tall on the surface, so the, the growth rate of giant kelp is phenomenal. All this fascinated me. I've been doing this now for over a decade, and it's always interesting to see something you can only observe under the microscope and then see it grow, outgrow up to 20 metres uh, out in the field, so that's, uh, it's quite fascinating. We can regrow these things within a year, um, and in terms of any sort of attempt for restoration, I can't think of any other species that grows so quick where you can get such recovery so immediately uh, back into the system. These forests, much like forests on land, have animals, whether they be fish or invertebrates, crabs, lobsters, crayfish, abalone, things like that, that depend on the productivity or even just the physical structure of the forest. Uh, similar to a bird's requiring trees to build their nests. You know, there are animals that live in giant kelp forests that simply need the giant kelp to, to survive. I, I guess it really is my, my life's passion project. Been observing changes for a long time. I was always into natural history and looking at landscape and wondering how everything works. And to witness some of these changes, to be able to document the change and then understand by running experiments underwater why it's changing and that's all leading us down this path to, okay, well, we, it is changing, we understand why it is, and there are some obvious ways we can try and get it to come back. <laughs>